So for this demonstration, I'm using a Roland PD128S from my TD30 kit over there. And all I've done is plugged it into one of the four trigger inputs on the back of the Pro. Now you'll notice that they're numbered one to eight and I've gone into one and two there. Now, why is it one and two? Well, this is a dual trigger input as many of them are. And so this takes up two of the available eight inputs. So once you've plugged in your external trigger, you'll see that once you've hit it, it's going to illuminate number one there on the trigger inputs. Now, this is a dual zone pad. So if I hit the, the center, then it's going to give us pad one. And if I hit the, the rim, it's going to give us number two. But you'll notice there was no sound there. And that's because it hasn't actually assigned a sound to it. So that's what we're going to do next. So what I've just done is gone to one of my own custom patches, Hybrid Scar, and this will have no current sounds assigned to it. So wherever I play, it's going to have no sound at all. Now, before we tell the SPDSX Pro which external trigger we're using in terms of which model, we're just going to assign a sound to both of them. Now, these work slightly different to the built-in pads because you know how you've got pad A and pad B on all of the built-in pads for your two sounds. Well, remember, we've plugged into inputs one and two, so this is going to be treated as two different different pads almost so we just need to assign a sound to each of them just to give us an idea of what it's going to um, sound like and how it's going to work in terms of dynamics let me show you what i mean so i'm going to go into pad edit there and i'm just literally going to assign the first sound that i come to which is a snare drum so that's solid s that's fine okay i'm just going to test that out quickly perfect now if i go to pad two by hitting the rim there we go, we've got pad two. Wait for my camera to focus, lovely. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a side stick sound or a cross stick sound to that. Now I've already filtered through. So let's just go through there, find a nice cross stick sound um, which relates to that. So we've got solid cross stick, perfect. Now if I just play that, we should have, I'm not gonna play it as a cross stick, but. So now that we've got a sound on inputs one and two, we're gonna hit exit. And we're just going to go over to system and this is where we're going to tell the spdsx pro what type of trigger we're actually using so if i hit enter there i'm going to scroll down to trigger type and then i can just go across and i could find the trigger that i've got which is pd128 so this is where we can sort out that sensitivity issue you can see when i hit the pad like i said earlier it's not really triggering every time there you go if i hit it too softly nothing happens okay so we're going to sort that out right now the way we're going to do that is by going down here and we're going to go to threshold and we're going to lower that and I'm actually going to lower that all the way down to one to start with okay let's see how that is now okay you can see we've got much more of a dynamic range and I can play that rim as well and that's going to work perfectly there we go so now we've got a fully functioning external trigger on the SPDSX Pro if you'd like to see more videos about the Roland SPDSX Pro and other electronic drums, then be sure to subscribe and make sure you check out this video if you'd like to find out how to connect a hi-hat to the SPDSX Pro. I'll see you next time.